Howdy again, it's Tubal Kane from Illinois, and today I'm going to conclude this series of four videos on the, the Bridgeport milling machine, where number one, I located the exact center of this hole, and numbers two and three, we bored it out, showing you how to use the boring head. And on this final one, we're going to drill six holes, or equally spaced around here, and that is called a bolt circle. I'm going to show you how to calculate the bolt bolt circle first and I will include in a uh, still picture of a rough drawing that I made uh, showing the coordinates but we start from the middle and we're still on 0 0 and both axes on the digital readout now if you don't have a digital readout uh, this probably could be done with the dials, although it won't be easy, and you better have a full understanding of backlash. Another way of doing this, of course, would be on a rotary table. But some people do not have a rotary table, and you need to know this anyway. Now, a bolt circle could be any number of holes uh, uh, going around here. It could be a four or six or eight or nine or whatever you want, and... Uh, but we're going to make it six because this is a part for a little engine that I'm making. The best example of a bolt circle that everybody would be familiar with would be the wheels on your car. You got five lug nuts usually, maybe six on trucks and they're in a circle. Now here I've got a couple little engines, steam engines, and uh, there's a bolt circle there with six, very small. And on this uh, Stewart engine that I built a million years ago, we also have six. Now these can be located uh, different ways. Uh, when I was a teenager and made this, I just uh, I did it by scribing with the dividers. Okay, here's a very rough drawing that I made. It is not to scale. And I got the coordinates. I googled and found... Uh, a site called Bolt Circle Solver, and all you got to do is plug the numbers in. And in this case, it's a one and five eighths inch diameter bolt circle. And since we're starting from the middle, each one of the six has a coordinate. The one farthest away from me is going to be uh, point zero zero, and uh, and the other axis plus eight twelve. Over here, for the second hole, it's minus 0 0.703 and positive 0 .04, 0 0.406 and so on down for the six holes. Now it's probably going to be easiest to drill holes that are across from each other because then you only have to make one change at least for those two holes. And uh, I, So I'm going to drill this hole and then I'm going to come down and drill this hole and then maybe this one and, and across and so on. Now I won't show you all of those this video is going to run too long. Okay, we're going to step back to the milling machine. We're back at the mill and I've got a center drill in there and I'm going to do my drilling with the hand drill press type lever, not the crank. And I've already located the first hole and that, if you look on the drawing, is a zero and then plus eight twelve. That was A12 in the Y and 0 in the X. And now I'm ready to turn the spindle on. I'm going to go ahead and drill the first hole. I'm just going to center drill all of these and then uh, there's no need to relocate them and drill my quarter inch hole, but instead I'm going to just do it over on the drill press, and I won't do that in this presentation. Okay, uh, for the second hole, we'll go. We'll just move the table in the Y axis to minus 812, and we're going to leave the X axis alone for this. It's axis. Digital readout, it's a wonderful thing. Get one. Tell your wife she doesn't need that new couch. Okay, we're on 812, and we're located. Now don't break your 
center drill off or you got to start over. You'll never remove a broken center drill. Use the woodpecker method. I should use some oil, but I only got two hands. All right, the second one is drilled. Now we'll do this one, which is 703. about backlash and then it'll be minus 406 move the wrong one Okay, we're going to drill that one. Now I'm going to stop right there and drill the other three uh, off camera so this doesn't get too long. Okay, I just drilled the sixth hole at these coordinates, minus 703, minus 406. And there they are in the digital readout. And so now we have six perfectly spaced holes which we call a bolt circle. Now uh, you can locate these holes also uh, by trigonometry and you know, do all the math but I don't I'm not that sharp in math I need help so I just went to the internet but some of the machinist books might have tables showing uh, uh, the coordinates for various sized bolt circles. One thing I didn't mention is when you drill each hole, uh, as you locate it on the digital readout, you really should lock the table in both directions, X and uh, Y, so it doesn't move on you. If you don't do that, you may notice that uh, you'll have just a, a few thousandths movement up here, and you don't want that also that could cause you to break your drill. In the world of uh, model making, there's often a need for uh, uh, bolt circles. And uh, now this is ready to take out of the milling machine, and those holes are not going to move from where they're at, so I can just take it to the drill press and drill them out their final size. Uh, let it kind of float around a little bit to find its center. Uh, do, do not uh, clamp it down. Good hold in the vise, though, but don't drill into the vise. It's one thing that really bugs me is when people drill into a good vise. We've all done it, I guess. Be sure and watch my many, many other videos. This will be the last one on the milling machine for a little while. We need to get back to the lathe. This is Tubal Kane saying, thanks for watching and so long for now.